Hey guys, it is Arika Misha coming to you with another quick through the week meal. I'm telling y'all, I be doing some quick meals through the week for these girls, for the family. So, um, just wanted to come show you guys another quick idea. Um, and this is old school. This meal is old school. Now, this is the manwich. Uh, this is, I got the manwich sloppy, original sloppy joe. All we gotta do is cook our meat and add the sloppy joe sauce and that's it. Quick and easy, guys. And gotta get my ground beef out the refrigerator forgot to bring that to the to the show and I also got if you guys saw my Publix haul I got this ciabatta roll uh bread as you can see oh this is gonna be so good this is gonna be so good that you guys this is how I do it makes the sloppy joe so good of course you can use hamburger buns but no 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 boo boo I got this um New York bakery it's like the garlic bread you know and it's got a like, little mozzarella as you can see says mozzarella provolone cheese kind of like you know baked in it oh my goodness look at it look at it it's gonna be so good Let's see if we got any more pictures here oh yeah it's gonna be good oh see it's the ciabatta it's the ciabatta bread the ciabatta bread see it's the ciabatta bread and they just you know put some cheese and all that other good stuff oh my goodness i can't wait it's gonna be good this is how I do the sloppy joes. Um, of course, we do the regular hamburger bun. We do that too. Um, but I like to change it up, you know, for the girls, for the kids, for the family. I like to change it up, do it different. But I'm telling you, this way right here, this right here is so good. With that garlic butter bread and the uh, sloppy joe in between, it, it's so good. All right, y'all. ain't going to talk no more. I'm going to go ahead. Let's get this meal done, guys. Let go. Okay guys, I am back. I've got my beef on the stove and as you can see, I'm cooking my beef. I sprinkled a little seasoned salt, a little um, pepper, a little seasoned salt and a little pepper. You don't want to do too much to the beef because your sauce has all the seasons, you know, it's already seasoned enough. So you don't want to over season it. Don't want to overkill it. So. And I love this meal. It's so quick. It's so easy. Only thing you're cooking is your beef. You get your beef cooked up. Pour your manwich sauce in there, your sloppy joe sauce in there, and that's it. It's done. If you're doing hamburger buns, you just go ahead and do your hamburger buns and you know fix your sandwiches right away with your hamburger buns. Now sometimes I'll cook fries with this. Um, but tonight I'm just gonna do the sandwiches. Girls don't really want fries. I don't want fries either, so we're just gonna have the sloppy joe sandwiches. And that ciabatta bread is thick, so that's going to be enough. So I'm getting the beef all cooked up. It's about done. Yeah, guys, I love this. Quick, easy meal. Cook your beef, pour your sandwich sauce in, and that's it. Quick, easy meal. Y'all know me. In and out. In and out. And you can use um, ground turkey. You don't have to use beef. You can do the ground turkey if you want to do the healthier route. Nothing wrong with that. That's what you choose to do. Me, I need some beef. I like turkey too. Don't get me wrong. I like ground turkey too. But tonight, we're going to have some beef. All right, guys. So, make sure that's all cooked up. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to drain this. Give me one quick second. I'm going to go ahead and drain this. Go ahead and drain the oil off your beef. I'm sure you guys know that. So make sure you drain all that oil, all that, um, the juice from your beef. Make sure you get all that drain off. All right. We got it all drained. Let's bring it back. Let me make sure you guys can see. Yep. You're right there. Y'all right there in my business as usual. <laughs> So we got the beef. Now what I want to do is I want to let my beef brown a little bit more. I like to brown my beef a little bit more. Now that I've got all that um, grease and oil drained off of it, I like to let my beef get a little bit browner. So I'll let it sit for a minute and let that side brown and then I'll stir it and get the other side brown. 
and that's got this cooking on a medium hot heat um guys a medium hot heat a medium heat like it's on medium high so and i've got my stove preheated for the ciabatta garlic bread uh the instructions said 425 uh, set your oven to 425 and cook them for five to eight minutes. So I won't throw them in yet. I'll go ahead and get the beef um, and the sandwich. Get the, you know, sloppy joe sauce. I'll get that all mixed together first. And then I'll go ahead and throw the bread in. Yeah, I'd like for my beef to get a little bit browner. You cut this heat down. I'm gonna cut this heat down from medium. Cut it down to like more of a still hot. I don't want it to lose it the heat. So got my fan on. All right. So our beef is done. All nicely cooked. That's brown enough for me. It's cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and make a hole in the middle. You guys been watching me cook long enough i'm gonna go ahead and make that hole in the middle and i'll pour my sauce got my manwich sauce open here guys make sure you guys can see that that is the manwich they have different kinds they've got some with a little spice in it i'm gonna pour this right in the middle then just kind of work my way out all right and of course you guys know i gotta put a little water in my can to get the rest of my sauce Ain't leaving no sauce behind. And just pour that around like that. That's it. That's all. That's it, guys. Got my heat turned down. Go ahead and get that all mixed in. And that's just one pound of beef. You know, the little small packs of beef. And my little small can. Just a little small can. I think that was the, let me see how many ounces was on this. Yeah, it was the 15 ounce. If you guys can't see it, 15 ounce can. Yep, this is good enough. This will make quite a few sloppy joes, you know, for me and the girls. This is good enough for us. I've got my heat turned down. And once I get this all mixed in, I'm going to go ahead and get that ciabatta bread in. Because this is already done. Already done and it smells so good. Let me tell you, when I was a kid, we used to eat these sloppy joes all the time. All the time. I teach my girls about stuff. Old school, new school, all the schools. You got to be well balanced. So, sloppy joes, my kids love them. I love them. They're so good. They remind me of when I was a little kid. You know? Just reminds me of when I was a little kid and I didn't have a care in the world. I didn't have a bill to pay. I had no cares in the world. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Not a care in the world. But you know what? I thank God. I thank God for everything. Thank you, Lord. All right. Let me get that little taste test. Mmm. Oh, it tastes so good. Mmm, that tastes good. Now, see, I don't have to add any sugar or anything into the sloppy joe. The sloppy joe is perfect. All right, so I'm going to cut that off. I'll let it just sit there. I'll let my beef just soak in all those good juices. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good, guys. Bring y'all in. Zoom y'all in so y'all can see the goodness. The goodness that's going on in that pan. Sloppy joe. I don't know if y'all ever had it, but it is delicious. It's delicious. So, I just cut my stove off. So, you know, it's still a little heated. So, I'll let that finish simmering and soaking up the juices. Let's go ahead and get our ciabatta bread in the oven. Show you guys that ciabatta bread over there. It's just hanging out, but I'm going to go ahead and get it in the oven. Five to eight minutes. Ooh, it is hot in that stove. All right, I'm gonna put my timer on. It says five to eight minutes. I'll go ahead and I'm gonna do the eight minutes. All right, you guys see I got my timer set at the stove for eight minutes, so it's counting down. So 
We've already got our sloppy joe done. Y'all saw it. Y'all seen me do it. So, all right, I'll be back when that uh, garlic bread is finished and I'll show you guys the finishing recipe. All right, guys, I'll be back. Hey guys, and yes, I am back with the final results. You guys saw me do the sloppy joe. Let me zoom in for you guys. It is looking da -da delicious over there. Look at it. Woo, y'all gotta go. It's been a while, but y'all going in the pan today. Look at it. Look at the heels of Sloppy Joe. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's go over here to that ciabatta garlic bread. Mm, 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 mm. Look at it. Mm. It smells so good. The garlic, the butter. Oh, my God. Woo, look at it. I got to take y'all in. Y'all got to really understand this. Look at this. Look at the sheep. Y'all gotta understand, can you focus on the bread? Can you focus? Okay, I guess I don't wanna focus. Let me back it up a little bit. Okay, I guess that's good enough. That's good enough for me. Oh yeah, that look real good. Ooh, y'all see the ciabatta bread? All right, y'all saw me do it. Uh, it. Took me about maybe five minutes to do the sloppy joe and the beef. Uh, I took the bread eight minutes. That's what, that's about a good, what five eight that's about 15 minutes y'all took us about 15 minutes to do this meal that's what i'm talking about quick and easy i gotta get in and out i can't be in here all day i'm in here enough so all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is arika misha thank you so much for all your love all your support for me and my family and i thank you guys for everything that you do to support my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys don't forget to follow me on all my social media at arika misha especially on instagram guys don't forget i'm i'm over there i'm busy every day posting every day over there too y'all missing out make sure y'all go follow me on instagram at arika misha and you know what guys knowledge is power Thanks, guys. Bye.